Hey guys, I'm Aaron Edgar, and this is video two in my lesson series for OnlineDrummer.com. Now, in the previous lesson, we took 7-8 and we messed around with it a whole bunch to get comfortable within the meter. We played around with the grooves, we embellished them, we turned them into something completely different from how we started. This time is going to be a similar sort of idea, but we're going to be doing it with an extra 16th note. We're going to be talking about 15-16. So, let's get right into this first idea. To play 15-16, your best bet is to start on the snare drum. It's going to be 1 16th note short of a bar of 4-4. Four, four. So if we're going to count 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 and a, or you can count that 4 with 4 E and. Doesn't matter, as long as you have three syllables there that are equally spaced, it'll work out. Let's take it slow and try it just on the snare. Okay, so get that really internalized how it feels, because we're going to turn it into a groove next. Just a really basic 4-4 four, four minus a 16th note. Playing the last three 16th notes on the snare drum to make it extra obvious. This is just for learning purposes. This isn't a very cool 15-16. spice it up a little bit. We're going to keep those three sixteenth notes on the snare drum, but let's add a flam and let's pull one of the snare drums back, open a hi-hat, a couple extra kicks, and see what it sounds like. Now, one of my favorite things about 1516 is that it can be evenly divisible by groups of three. So for that, we can have five equally groups of 316 within our bar of 1516, which can give us an interesting rhythmic context if we're still cutting up kind of like a bar of 4-4. Four, four. So we have sort of a quarter note, quarter note, quarter note, almost a quarter note. It works out evenly across that. So let's take that idea. We're going to use 316 bass drums underneath pretty much the same hand pattern that we did in the last groove. going to go really well with one of those grooves from the 7-8 video previously. But you can guess where I'm going with this, can't you? So keep that in mind and work on that. Let's take a look at another variation on how we can play 15-16. We're going to play it a little bit more open-ended with almost a halftime feel. The snare drum is going to be on beat 3 and it's going to be a little bit more spacey. Make sure you're counting and make sure you're really capable of hearing this properly. You don't want to be doing these last three sixteenth notes as triplets because that would just qualify as a bar 4-4 four, four, and it defeats the purpose of what we're up to. Another really cool thing that we can do within 1516 is practice it using double bass. Now, not only does it sound cool because double bass is awesome, but what it does is because we're doing 1516, if we're playing 16th notes on the bass drum, every bar we're going to switch lead. So, for example, if we start leading left, bar two, we're going to be leading right and back and forth. So, it poses an interesting challenge with how we're going to play these. Let's give it a try with something kind of basic. You can, of course, take this as fast as you want and use any type of double bass playing, for example, the blast beat. Alright, so let's end this video off kind of like we did the last one. We're going to take a look at some fills. Now, I'd like to play on that idea of the equally spaced 316 across the bar. Now, what's perfect about that is the Carter Beaufort or Thomas Hawk type thing that we did in the previous video will work out evenly. We won't have to chop it off at all. So, let's try it. First up, Beaufort. And of course, the Thomas Hawk variation. Now these were just a 
couple of examples. Of course you can play in 1516 however you want. You don't need to play off the 316 motif like I just was. So as with the last video, make sure you practice these, make sure you get really comfortable with 1516 because we're going to start blending the two. We're going to have bars of 7, 8, 15, 16, back and forth, and we're going to mess around with composite meter ideas inside the next video. So until next time, subscribe, and I'll see you guys inside the next video. Bye.